Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm filming a get on ready with me. This hands down has been probably one of the most requested videos on my channel. It's taken me so long to film it because it's taken me so long to find products that I'm really happy with. The products that I am going to be using today you may know of if you follow me on Snapchat but I've been using them for a good two, three months at this stage. Flat out every day and this is what I find works best for me and works best for my skin. I'm in my jammies because I'm sick. I just needed something cozy to make me feel better. I did film a tutorial on this look right here. I'll leave it linked here or down below. Okay, so let's jump right in, shall we? Here's my big bag of products. A lot of the products I use are gonna be from BioFresh Skincare, as you will see. Follow me on my Snapchat, then you'll know that I have been to BioFresh Skincare to get my skin sorted. I went for a consultation. I go through all the products as I go along, what type of skin I have, etc, etc. Okay, so you guys know, clearly, I wear an awful lot of makeup. But I am so finicky about getting it all off. I need to have a clean, clean base. I cannot stress to you guys how important your skincare is. I remember when I was working in store, I had girls coming in and they were like, oh, I want flawless skin. You know, cover me up and all this. And I'd be asking, you know, well, what skincare do you use? And they're like, oh, none. I expect to have a flawless face with makeup if you don't look after your skin properly. I don't know, I'm probably gonna sound like your mommies or your grannies or whatever, but look after your skin, guys, all right? I cannot stress that enough. So first things first, obviously we're gonna take off our eyelashes. Oh, sha. And now we're a bald eagle. So first thing, I just like to take like an oily makeup remover. The cleansers and stuff that I use from Biofresh are great, but they're just not. I find I end up wasting product with them if I use them to take off like heavy eye makeup, like gel liner. Cause we all know, 77 gel liner, but ain't, lot, ain't going nowhere. This is my little cousin's, I just nicked it on her. Um, you can just use any oily makeup remover. Okay, so when taking off my eye makeup, I just put a tiny bit on the cotton pad and I kind of leave it over my eye for a second. See the way it's like getting super oily? It just means it's gonna lift off a lot easier for me than as opposed to just going in and rubbing on my eye straight away. Your eyes and the skin around your eyes is so sensitive. The skin around your eyes is a third of the thickness of the rest of your face. So if you're like pulling into your eyes, you're gonna get wrinkles, guys. Oh, I'm a freak. I'm a freak when it comes to this guy. I will not be tugging out of my eyes ever. If you're one of those people who do that, shame on you. So that was 77 Inglot Gel Liner. Kapoof, armor, kapoof. Kapoof. Gone. It has disintegrated. I like to kind of fold over the cotton pad sometimes and just like really get into those areas. So you can see that's literally like dissolved nearly everything on my eye and that's just using one cotton pad. Like I said, you can use any oily makeup remover. I know you can get small ones in boots and stuff like that. This would be terrible for someone who's got like oily skin if someone's, if they're actually using that all over their face. It's super greasy. So Garnier is lying. It's saying it's non non-greasy. That is, this is so greasy. That's why I only ever use it on my eyes. I would not use this in my face. Honestly, my favorite part of the day is taking my makeup off. Well, no doing my makeup, but then after that, taking it off. I just love feeling like my skin is really clean. What I actually like to use is like a cleansing oil first. I find like an oil, just like what I use on my face, it really kind of lifts off the makeup first. Now I don't just use this, I think using this by itself is too kind of greasy feeling, I guess. So this is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Botanical Cleansing Oil. Now, this is 35 euro. Now the Kiehl stuff is amazing, it is luxurious, so you can find something similar to this in boots, I'm sure. So what you're supposed to do with this first is basically put it into your hands and then rub it all over your face. So what I do with this is I just squirt, if it'll open, two pumps into my hands, rub it into my hands, and then all over my foot. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is honestly what my foundation looked like whenever I was younger. Obviously, you'd be at a sink when doing this, so I then rinse my hands and rinse my face with water. So what that does is it really just kind of lifts any makeup, any like stubborn makeup. So that's what I use for initially kind of stopping the makeup from sticking to my face. Now I'm gonna go in with my BioFresh stuff. So what I use to actually cleanse and take off my makeup then is the BioFresh. Like I said, I've been to the girls of Biofresh, I don't know how many times now, so I do know an actual so I do know an awful lot about the products. So the rose water toner, it's 
been used since the edge of time, since beauty treatment. Da -da 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 so rose water tones, soothes, hydrates, and rejuvenates the skin. So yeah, this is what I was looking for. The rose water actually helps maintain your skin's pH balance, and it helps to kind of take down redness. Then we have the probiotic. What was that? My leg. Ooh. We have the probiotic ultra delicate cleansing milk. Just like any cleansing milk, it just sticks off your makeup. So how I use these two together and how I take off my makeup is I take your rose water. This is such a funky smell. If you like roses, you're gonna love it, but I remember when I very first smelled that I was like, I don't know, but I'm used to it now. Then taking a little dollop of the cleansing milk, just kind of rubbing it into the pad. And then we're just gonna start lifting off the makeup. Again, I'm being careful not to like pull out of my skin too much. And because we use the Kiehl's cleansing oil, you can see that's literally just lifting off. Look at the colour difference. <laughs> okay, I'll admit, I do go a little bit crazy with the amount of product that I use. You honestly don't need to use as much as what I do. But I'm just a freak when it comes to like getting my makeup off. I just don't like to have anything left on my skin. You know, if you leave your makeup on overnight, you lay it eight days. Are you shook? Yeah. I hope you are. Smelly people, take your makeup off before you go to bed. I know, like, obviously after a night out or whatever, you could be tired or whatnot, but think of the eight days. I swear, after a night out, I do this whole routine. Like, if I'm staying in the darwins, I'll bring my little kit with me. They all be laughing at me. That's it appearing to be all gone. I do have a little bit of tan on my face, by the way, so that's why, like, any little areas are, like, standing out. Tan really clings on to, like, any dry skin in the face or any, like, scars which is annoying. Even though it appears to be all off, I'm still gonna go in with another cotton pad and just give it another cleanse. Look, look at it, stuff still coming off. God, this stuff is so, so good for your skin. All Biofresh products are natural. So if you've got sensitive skin, if you've acne prone skin, they're literally insane. This alone just makes your skin feel so smooth. And yes, I know my face is a different colour to my body. I did actually put a little bit of tan on my face, but I only ever leave the tan on my face for like an hour because I know tan is bad in your face. It can make people react and kind of break out, so I don't like to put an awful lot on. Oh, this feels so clean. So that there is what I use to take my makeup off. If you don't wear an awful lot of makeup, to be honest, you can get away with these here. You don't have to use the other two steps that I did. Also, I just want to clarify that I am not well. All right, I am sick. So if I look sick, that's why. Don't need you to tell me about it. It's fine. You know, you, you just keep that to yourself. Biofresh's acne out products. Guys, guys. So along with Biofresh, they sell Acne Out. So Acne Out is a product obviously designed for people who've got acne or even just spots, to be honest, that you want to get rid of. 2017, I did have like a problem with my skin um, coming towards the middle of the year. I was using different products that were far too harsh on my skin, like far too harsh on my skin, and it was making me break out. I couldn't figure out for the longest time what it was. And a friend actually recommended Biofresh to me. So I went to their store in Swords. I had a free consultation, which they give everybody. And I had a facial. I believe their facials start around 60 euro. I'll leave a picture here of what my skin was like at that stage. Like I was so conscious of it. I always had like good enough skin, but it just was like breaking out in me. And I was like, oh my God, is it my makeup? Like what is the situation? But obviously it just came all down to the products. I have got a few scars as you can see, thanks to the tan bringing it out. But on my face right now, there's absolutely zero spots. Like zero spots. This is the biggest spot i would gotten in ages. I can't stop feeling my skin. Like it just feels so smooth. This is probably the biggest, most popular product. It's the Acne Out Active Lotion. So this is obviously just like a little spritzer thing. I use a little cotton pad. This is to fight against blackheads and spots. So what I do is literally just pump it onto the little pad and then we're just going to rub that everywhere that I get oily and get blackheads and spots. It can kind of sting your eyes a little bit if you use too much like what I'm after doing. Just keep your eyes closed. If you have a spot before like a big night out, Stick a little bit of this on it and it will get rid of it. You do not need to use an awful lot of this product. It can't stress that enough. 
if you use too much it's really going to dry out your skin. You can get these in little packs, so there's like packs that are specialised for people maybe who only get a few spots and then specialised for people who maybe have like severe acne. My sister has started using the Biofresh products and um, maybe like a month after me and she had severe acne and when I say her skin has like cleared up so much, I mean it is insane. If you've seen my last video with her there, you can actually see like well you would know but a lot of her redness is gone her whole face used to just be so sore she's so so happy with her skin I can't thank like the Biofresh products enough for that like for sorting her out because her skin has been so bad for so long and she's just so so happy with it along with their kits for getting rid of spots they have a kit for repairing any scars and stuff like that so this is a SPF 30 repair cream so what you're supposed to do with this is just put it anywhere that you have any scarring so that's what I'm going to do so on this bad boy, on my forehead. But one thing that they have that's really, really good for like blackheads and if you've got really oily skin is this Pure Skin Exfoliate and what? Exfoliate and tonic. Now I only use this maybe once a week. It's for enlarged pores and blackheads. Now this sings the shite out of your face. The shite out of your face. I mean, what I do is just stick this in a cotton pad, and again, this and this is only supposed to be used just in like your T zone where you get blackheads, where you get oily. So this is peeling off any dead skin. It's gonna help tighten your pores. You leave this on for 20 minutes and then wash it off. So I would apply this as this stage of my makeup removal. So after that product, or even if I don't do that product, there's a mask that I am obsessed with. I'm obsessed with this product, guys. So I've got dry, kind of dehydrated skin. This is insane. This is the Biotrade Hydro Mask Revitalizing Deep Hydrating Face Mask. This can be used after like burning of the skin that shows how good it is that it's recommended for that so this here generally what I would do is I would put this on and leave it on overnight so this would be my last step right now I put it on I'd leave it on overnight and I'd wash it off in the morning otherwise you can leave it on for 20 minutes and then wash it off but for hydration I really really love putting this on and just leave it on overnight and wake up in the morning and your skin is like a baby's ass I am not exaggerating for whenever I'm not using the mask what I do next is I use the probiotic ultra regenerating lifting serum I actually think your skin starts aging once you get to around 24 I think it is you're supposed to start using like anti-aging products once you get to the age of like 24 God, I see no harm in doing it now. This serum, again, is so nice. It's so cooling on the skin. Oh, it feels amazing. So all the time I'm like pushing upwards. I'm never going to drag down on my skin. I'm pushing upwards. We don't want wrinkles. Don't forget your neck as well, guys. Your neck is a part of your face. And after that, I just pop on either my nighttime or a day cream. Obviously, it's nighttime, but I'm using this. Just a heads up, SPF is generally in day creams. It is what you want in your day cream. SPF is what protects you from the sun. I don't care whether you're stepping out in Ireland and it's cloudy, the sun is still there. It's going to damage your skin, girl. You're gonna look about 90 years old when you're like 30s. I know SPF isn't great for like flash photography, so never use like a daytime moisturizer whenever you're gonna be going out at night. Like that's, you're gonna end up with flashback. That's the problem with SPF is flashback. So this is just really going to lock in all the moisture. It's so soft and it smells so nice. It's super, it's thick but it isn't like greasy. This is the Phyto, or I don't know, Phyto stem set, no, what? Natura eye cream. So it comes like this, our eye cream. This is super important guys, along with everything else that's super important. So it comes like this. And you basically push it down and the product comes out. You only need to use the tiniest, tiniest amount and use it on your ring finger because it's like the most delicate pressure you don't want to be pulling out of your eyes. So just apply it a tiny amount. You want to make sure you hit it nearly on your cheekbone. You don't want to bring it way up here and above the eye. I kind of apply it just on the brow bone. You don't want to apply this actually onto your eyelid the warmth of your skin is going to bring the product down. So that's the kind of region there that I apply it in. Also, the girls in the store told me they like to apply it around here just to kind of stop any smile lines coming through and then up here as well, the frown lines and then myself I like to apply it up here where I have my little expression line. 
just to, you know, help that situation a little bit. And we're just going to very gently rub that in, using our ring finger again. Again, you don't need to rub it onto your eyelid, rub it just around here. To keep my lips hydrated, I use the Roche Posay little lip thingy. I'll leave it here. I don't have it because I give it to my granny. But you want to stay away from stuff like Vaseline and stuff like that. Anything that has petroleum in it because that's going to actually dry out your lips and make them worse. That's literally what I use on my face every morning whenever I wake up. Every night whenever I'm taking off my makeup. I really enjoy taking off my makeup just because I know the products are working so well. And because they just smell and feel amazing. I will say as well... Myself and my sister's makeup has lasted so much longer since using these products. Stop my skin from getting oily. I don't take powder or anything like that. I mean, I'd say I don't have to anymore. My sister's skin has dried up as well. She said that her makeup lasts so much longer. She has super oily skin, but she says it definitely has calmed down since using these products. And also, I have an expression line on my forehead just because I talk on my eyebrows constantly. Um, and I have noticed it's gone down. It hasn't gone down a lot, but it's gone down. And yeah, that there is my finished skincare routine. I do that in the morning and in, at night. Whether I'm wearing makeup or not wearing makeup, it doesn't make a difference. These products truly are amazing. They've really helped my skin. It took me so long to find a good skincare routine and it took me so long to actually put it out here for you guys because I think your skin is so, so important. Like I know how much it means to people. I know how important it is to have a good skincare routine. I know how much your skin can affect your life. Like it's literally life changing. It's life changing waking up and feeling confident in your skin just like this. And that's why it took me so long to film this video because I wanted to give you guys the best products. I wanted to give you products that worked on me, that has worked on my sister. These are products I recommended to my sister and my family, my friends. I've got everyone using it just because they work so well. This might help you on your skin journey, like trying to get your skin to where you want it to be. And yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I found it informative. I'll leave all product details down below where you can purchase the products, etc, etc. This video was not sponsored, by the way. I know it might seem like it because I'm using a lot of Biofresh stuff, but it's not sponsored. I just wanted to do this for you guys myself. So yeah, let me know down below if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something new. Have you guys tried Biofresh products before? Do you like it? Also, what's your favourite skincare products? Girl wants to know. I haven't got an exfoliator. That's the only thing I'm missing, but I just exfoliate in the shower, so yeah. Whenever I'm exfoliating the rest of my body, I just... That's what I do. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope it didn't scare you too much. Please make sure to like if you enjoyed this video. That really means a lot to me. Also make sure to subscribe and hit that little notification bell. To make sure you don't miss any of my videos. Bye bye.